This spreadsheet is for uh, two-dimensional particle tracking with multiple wells including, including random well dispersion. You can download this spreadsheet from this uh, website. And let's begin. The first step is to choose the iterative uh, option of Excel. Uh, you can superimpose any map, any figure, any photo at the same scale of the graphical display. So this is the main uh, worksheet. And uh, well, here is the delta time in days, the gradient in x direction, the gradient in uh, y direction, the hydraulic conductivity, the saturated thickness, the effective porosity, the well capture radius. This is because uh, when a, a particle approaches a well, it increases the velocity. So this is the well radius where the particle is captured. Otherwise, it can present uh, ins instability, the longitudinal uh, dispersivity and the transverse dispersivity. I use green for input and yellow for results. And uh, you can uh, uh, add up to 10 walls. So here you have the pumping well rate and the X and Y position of that well. If there is uh, any well at all, just zero and the X and Y uh, uh, coordinates outside your flow domain. This is to avoid uh, particle well capture with Q equal zero. This is just uh, the velocity in X and Y direction. And these are two uh, spreadsheets where is calculated some uh, temporal uh, particle position. This is for random work. Well, next uh, step is to give the particle the initial particle position. You can give any number of particles up to 500 particles. And well, the gradient is somewhere in this direction, so there were some release here, so you can add a line of particles perpendicular to the gradient and for that purpose you can generate uh, from a spreadsheet that also you can download from the same web page and let's go to that uh, spreadsheet so here is this is to generate a line of particles, the initial position of that line, the x and y uh, direction of the gradient, and the distance between particles. So let's copy the particles we need. OK, copy. And here, paste. Okay, so now if you want dispersion in some particle, just type 1. And let's back to the main uh, worksheet. And uh, here are the line of particles. Let's select the correct number of particles. Okay, here and here. And there are the lines. So the release was in this position. So we can copy that position here. So let's copy that particular position with where the release, release occur. So number one, because we want the uh, dispersion of that particular position of that uh, particle. Now, random wall dispersion uh, uh, have uh, uh, meaning if you put many numbers of particles in the same uh, position. So the concentration is, uh, is proportional to that uh, number of particles. Let's put a hundred of particles, so copy, and let's go to, okay, here. Okay, so that's the same particle position where we want to calculate uh, random well dispersion. Let's back to the main spreadsheet, the uh, worksheet. 
Uh, here you could see that red point that actually should be 100 points, so let's select the correct number of points. So it is very easy. Okay, so now we are ready to begin. F9. So let's first, without any well, just heal that the time you can give two days, three days, five days is a good uh, approach. And you can see here how is the random well the dispersion. Okay, so now the, the this uh, front <coughs> uh, this advective front reach uh, the boundary of that site after 200 uh, days. So the obvious site to locate a well or to capture that uh, red particles is somewhere here in the flow path direction. So let's back use here zero F9 and let's put the well. Well for this particular case uh, thi this was adapted from a real case and there were restrictions that the only place where we can locate a well was somewhere here. So let's locate a well here. So Q1. Let's copy from another uh, spreadsheet. Okay. Uh -uh. Okay. So let's copy that position to our uh, spreadsheet. And here is the pumping rate and the X and Y location. Let's back to the main worksheet. And you can see here the uh, pumping well. Uh, here is the uh, pumping rate the particles and the red uh, uh, polluted or contaminated particles. Uh, here are the other wells with zero rate uh, uh, discharge. Okay, so let's uh, begin again with uh, five days. Let's see. Okay, you could see the now when uh, the particle approached the well uh, just for a good approximation, one or less than one, and again you could see there the, uh, that the blue particles are or clean particles are captured by the, that uh, well or that remediation well, but also that uh, red uh, particles. Well. At the end, you will see that uh, not all the red particles are captured by that uh, wells. Well, so just to capture all the particles, you need another wall here of uh, uh, less than uh, 5 uh, cubic meters per day. Thank you very much.